Hey everybody, my name is Jen and this is Jen Geigley Knits and welcome to my 2024 Vogue Knitting Live New York City recap video. I have been going to Vogue Knitting Live every year since 2015, except for the pandemic years. And it's always so much fun. I just, I always leave the city with a smile on my face. I get on the airplane like kind of deliriously beaming with joy and like feeling like my soul is rejuvenated from just seeing all my knitting friends and being around all the nitty stuff all weekend. Plus just running around the city and doing all my favorite things and eating my favorite foods and getting coffee and just kind of feeling like a free spirit, I guess. So I got back a few days ago. It was fantastic. It was a whirlwind. Uh, once again, it just went really fast. I think this is what I did last year too, is I um, just went Thursday to Sunday to get like the Vogue Knitting Live days in there. Um, I always want to add on Monday and sometimes in the past I have, but this time it just wasn't possible. Um, and that's why it seems so fast because it's like the Vogue Knitting Live is still happening Sunday and then I have to jump on a plane kind of right in the middle of the day. So it's like very abrupt, but it was really, really fun. Um, I packed in as much as I could while I was there and it was just fantastic and I'm still like on a Vogue Knitting Live high now that I'm home, just readjusting to life here. Um, both of my kids have February birthdays and Lotus's birthday is Friday and so we're just like jumping right back in. And this is going out Saturday so her birthday was yesterday. Anyway, it's a busy time and that's why I had to get back too. But um, I'll just do a little brief intro and then I'll get to the footage from the actual event. Um, I just wanted to kind of explain some of the things before it all happens because I can't remember if I was explaining as I went or not really or kind of just like, it's like, when I take videos at these events, it's like a whole bunch of clips, like tons of short little videos that take forever to put it all together. But in the end, I hope it kind of tells the story. I really do enjoy putting these videos together. It's like my favorite thing to do is the travel and event recap videos. So I, I love doing these, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, so like I said, I flew in last week to New York City at LaGuardia on Thursday. And that was kind of a free day mostly. So I got in at about noon and I ran around and did some stuff just kind of on my own. And then I had my first event that evening, um, which was at the Norwegian consulate. And I was invited by Knit and Note and Fjord Clothing. And they are out of Norway. So they're Norwegian knitting companies that the Norwegian consulate is kind of like the bridge between American industries and these businesses out of Norway and we got this beautiful presentation and fashion show. They had lots of really good little snacks and bites to eat and delicious little like lemon tart cheesecakes and all these <laughs> beautiful things. And the view was incredible out of this apartment. It was just gorgeous, just a beautiful space, lots of friends that I didn't really know what it was gonna be like when I got there. Um, and I ended up knowing a few people that were there, which was really fun. So really it was like, a kind of re, a, like a pre kickoff to the whole weekend. And I got to have a plus one guest that week uh, to like bring with me. And so I invited my friend, Steven, who is Knitfen on Instagram. And he also has a podcast here on YouTube. So go check him out. He came with me and we had a blast. And then we ended up just walking around afterward and talking and laughing and telling stories. And I walked with him. I wanted to see like, I don't know, he was kind of showing me around on our walk back through the city after the event and we grabbed some appetizers and coffees and just had a really nice first night in the city. So that was a great way to start off the trip. And then Friday, that's the day I just ran around and did my own stuff mostly. I met my friend Kay Gardner for coffee and croissants in Central Park and it was kind of rainy, but still really warm and the weather was really nice, so it was fine. And then I ended up going to get my kids some souvenirs at the Nintendo store per their request. <laughs> and then I went to the MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art, and saw a beautiful Picasso exhibit and other lots of other beautiful, just like a day of art, which just 
kind of feeds my soul and my creative spirit and just felt so good to just go out and kind of at my own pace, do whatever I wanted and look at everything and take it all in. And it just felt really nice. And then I had like a nice dinner. What else? Oh, and then it was Vogue Knitting Live. That's the beginning of Vogue Knitting Live at like 5 p.m. The Marcus Marketplace opens. So I walked all the way back and went to that. And then just started seeing all the friends, all the friends. Started that night off just kind of looking at all the booths and all the vendors stuff and shopping around and seeing what there was and saw lots of friends right away. Every two steps, like another person, another hug and another <laughs> reunion. So that's always fun. And then ended up bumping into Steven again that night too with our mutual friends. So that's always fun. And then Saturday I wore my, it was like the debut of my Bjork sweater. This is warmthness. This is on Ravelry now, the pattern, by the way. So I put this on Ravelry on Thursday and there's a discount code warmthness on Ravelry if you'd like to go pick up a copy of the pattern. And the pattern includes instructions to make the plain sweater, which is underneath these flaps. You can make it plain or you can add the little rectangles. So I have instructions for both in the same pattern and use the code warmthness on Ravelry to get your discount. And I'll leave that discount running until like Monday. So yeah, go grab my warmthness York sweater pattern if you'd like. And so yeah, I wore this Saturday to Vogue Knitting Live like the whole day. I really wanted to just like save this for Saturday, which was fun. I ended up seriously doing this pretty much the whole day. I just felt like, <laughs> like it's worth shimmying around the marketplace in my 3D sweater. And I had a lot of comments and people like lifting the flaps and, and just checking it out. It was so fun and sharing their ideas about it. And it was just like, I had people um, ask to take selfies with me in the bathroom. It was hilarious. It was so much fun. And I just really felt proud and happy wearing this sweater all day. And I can't get enough of it. It's seriously really comfy to wear and it holds up really nicely. It hasn't stretched out or started drooping or anything. It feels like it's this yarn is really good and it kind of just bounces right back even if you've worn it like quite a while like I just did and then throw it in my suitcase like you know <laughs> and it just comes out just fine again so um I thought I'd wear it today just because the pattern is new and it's out and whatever anyway I had fun wearing the sweater I got to show Amy at Lobby and May we took a little picture and did a little shimmy together like in front of her little backdrop at the Brooklyn General Store booth and she thought it was fun. I don't know, everybody thought it was kind of fun. So that was kind of Saturday. And then Saturday evening, I had a little gathering with a whole bunch of friends with um, the Madeline Tosh team who I do graphic design work for, but also knitwear design for. And just saw a ton of good, good friends there. And we just all hung out for the evening and had some drinks and appetizers and just chilled, which is nice to be able to sit and talk to everybody because all of our feet were like super tired from all the walking and running around and all the things we do all weekend. And then Sunday came so fast and then I had to, you know, pack up my stuff and put my luggage in the storage in the hotel and get ready to fly out. But I did hit the marketplace that morning for a bit, just for like until noonish or one and then had to leave for the airport, but saw friends again that morning and um, stopped by Wing and a Prayer. I will show you, I didn't really, I didn't shop a lot. I'm actually really proud of myself. This time I was so busy talking with friends and catching up that I didn't do shopping. And it's probably good because I have a lot of stuff still from Rhinebeck that I haven't been able to knit yet. But um, I did get some fun little swag things and sweet friends gifted me some things and I did buy one thing, but um, I got this really cute knit and note tote from the Norwegian consulate event that was on Thursday. And inside is a few nice little things. It's the, the woolly yarn from Fjord clothing and it's so beautifully soft. They have worked to make their yarn specifically non-scratchy for children and babies garments because that's what their specialty is but they have all kinds of things for adults too but um 
It's extra fine merino. It feels like a dream. It honestly feels like cashmere to me. It's so beautiful and I wanna make something really fun out of this. And they gifted us this yarn at the event. Um, but yeah, they had a very special presentation about their whole process and about how in the beginning they were dressing their cute little Nordic kids <laughs> in their knitwear. And then, you know, the kids would complain and toss it off because it's too itchy. And I've been through that with my kids too. So they specifically, specifically formulated this yarn to not be itchy for the kids. And it really is a dream. It's so smooth and soft and beautiful. So I can't wait to knit up something with that. And then I got a little knit and note needle gauge. And Knit and Note is, a, is an awesome app, by the way. That's the sponsor of this um, event. And there's all kinds of things in there. There's also patterns that they specifically sell on their like subscription service. And then they have like Knitting Note app stuff that to keep track of your everything with your knitting patterns and stuff like that. So it's a really cool app that you should check out if you have time, one moment. And then I got, there's this little baby booty pattern that comes with the yarn they gave us. Really adorable. They have really modern, clean, beautiful baby and kid toddler knitwear patterns. It's really nice, beautifully done. And here's the Knit and Note app card. Um, find your next project in our pattern library. Um, keep track of your yarn and needle stash. They have project pages with details and notes. Organize your personal patterns. They have a row counter and tools, personal stats and badges, and inspire and be inspired by our community. And it's a beautiful app. It's a very cozy, like, vibe and beautifully designed. And then a cute little notebook and a little eraser. <laughs> so that was from, oh, there's two of those. Oh, they're needle. That's what they are. I thought it was an eraser. <laughs> they're little needle protectors, like, you know what I mean? Stoppers. That's cute. I just saw the holes. They feel like an eraser. Wow. I'm still tired from my trip. <laughs> so that was from that Thursday event. And then my one purchase was a skein of Spin Cycle from Port and Fiber, I want to say. Is that how what it is? Port and Fiber. Um, because I have a cowl that I need this for from a Brooklyn General kit that I have pieced together kind of myself and I really wanted this yellow spin cycle which of course is no surprise because I love all shades of yellow but this was perfect because it has like some of the little neon stripes in it and the green and the gold and I love it. So I grabbed this. That was my only purchase the entire time and I am proud of myself because I held back I really wanted something from Thread and Maple because they have those beautiful leather organizers and binders and needle holders. And they, they just have this really cute little, everybody's talking about it, the little scissors kit. It's like a little zip scissors, compact little floppity do that has a little spot for stitch markers and your darning needles. And I just told myself, maybe I will get one of those when I go to Rhinebeck. I don't know why, I just, I looked at it a hundred times. I went back to their booth over and over again, like picking this thing up, but I didn't get one. But I should have, and I wanted to, and I don't know what happened, just time got away from me. And then the last thing I picked up was a skein of, let me get it right, the Clun Forest Alpaca Blend from Wing and Prayer Farm, who, if you don't follow them on Instagram, they are, the most adorable sweet farm with the most beautiful sheep and Tammy is like the farmer extraordinaire but just the sweetest person and makes this beautiful yarn and they hand dye with natural dyes and do all this stuff but um, she let me take this home so I can work on a little design for them and I already have a sweater in mind and this is so beautiful and bouncy and squishy um, and this natural color and I just absolutely love this. I know I was holding this at Rhinebeck too and just kind of doing this for, you know, off and on every time I came by the booth. And then this time I just picked up a skein and she's like, go make something with that. And so I said, yes, I will do that <laughs> happily. So I'm excited to cast on something with this special yarn. And, oh, and then I got a gift. So I did end up getting like, I feel like I got a lot of stuff after the, 
<laughs> and I didn't have a lot of room in my suitcase, so it's all good. But at the Madeline Tosh event, they also gifted us this very, very sweet little collection of yarn in a Delacue Madeline Tosh little, it's like a canvas box. I love this little organizer, like for your desk. Really cool. And it's, let's see, it's dream in color. Beautiful shades of blue. Um, this is a rebrand that I worked on. This is not the final label, but I got to do this rebrand work for Madeline Tosh because they have acquired Shibui Yarns and they are rebranding into the Madeline Tosh brand. And so this is the Shibui Silk Cloud that is now Madeline Tosh Silk Cloud. So this is not the final label, but this is like the prototype, but they'll be like the nice, you know, real labels. But I got to do this design and, you know, put on all the little color names and dye lots and all that fun stuff. I like nerd out over that. It was like my favorite project ever. So that was included in the little box along with um, Jameson's Shetland Spindrift, which I love. I have some of this in a little hat kit um, that was made by Gunnar Johnston and she was there too. We were all hanging out and chatting. It was like really, really nice to like catch up with all these people. I'm really excited to add this maybe into that hat kit. Maybe I can change it up a little bit and add some pretty blue. And it's beautiful close up. It's like a lot of little shades of blues. And then Yarn Citizen Luxe Trinity Cashmere. Beautiful, like fuzzy gorgeousness in this light blue. Um, Yarn Citizen Harmony Worsted in Limestone. This is awesome. I love a good neutral like this. It's so pretty. It feels amazing. Um, this is Wool Alpaca Made in Peru. It's like 50-50 Wool Alpaca. And it feels so nice. It's gorgeous. It just feels amazing. Really soft. And then a Madeline Tosh skein of Tosh Merino Light in these beautiful blues. Really super pretty. So that was extra nice and they didn't have to do that, but that was really, really sweet. And so that was my small little stash of acquisitions from Vogue Knitting Live. Let's just get to it because I know you just want to see the New York stuff because I want to see the New York stuff too. This is too much chatting. So this is Vogue Knitting Live, my experience. Let's go.
everybody, it's Jen and my friend Steven. Hello. We just went out for lattes and Brussels sprouts. And now we're going, not the Norwegian consulate, but like the, the consul's residence. Okay. Um, with <laughs> the Knit and Note app. So they invited us to this event and we're not sure what it's all about yet. We're about to find out and we are very excited. So we're on our way. We went to the Knit and Note and Fjord event at this amazing apartment with this view that was just incredible. So amazing. What did you think? It was a lot of people. Oh, it, it was so much fun. Like just the conversations with everybody and the, um, the well, the app, Knit and Note. Yeah. And the, the video. Line, the people that were there to, to talk about their um, products were amazing. It was fun. Yeah, they did a little fashion show with some yeah. of the samples. <laughs> they had an amazing promotional video that you need to go see on the Knit and Note Instagram because I think I saw it there, but I didn't watch the whole thing and it's hilarious and really well done. Like we were laughing the entire time. It's yep. really funny. And if you're a knitter, you'll get all the jokes and it's just like poking fun a little bit in Norwegian stuff, but like also they're very proud of their heritage and sure. um, it was just a lot of fun. It was a lot. It was a great mix of people, and some people that we knew, and some that we met for the first time. And I think it was just a good experience. Yeah. So thank yeah. you for coming with me. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank <laughs> you for inviting me. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> so now we're best friends, and <laughs> forever. <laughs> and we're gonna go on with the rest of our weekend. But just wanted to recap that little event because it was fun. Thanks for coming. Thank you. That was fun. <laughs> Central Park and a uh, croissant. So hopefully it's not too rainy all day, but it's fun. It's always fun walking around. And it's not like raining hard, just like a little bit. So hopefully it kind of stays that way. But the weather is so warm, like compared to home, this feels amazing. It's, last night even, it was almost it was like in the high 50s. Today's a little colder maybe, but it feels amazing and it's like such a treat to walk around and not be totally freezing cold. So, sorry, traffic is kind of loud maybe, but anyway. Saddles, and here it is waving saddles. Just had to know that. Okay, onward. It's kind of raining harder. And if there's one thing I've learned over the years, it is to always pack a little main umbrella because you never know when you need it.
hustled. I had to fast walk. I'm like a tiny bit late, but um, I'm eating K here to get a coffee, which I really need this morning. I slept great, but I am so tired from my flight yesterday and all the things we did last night. And I'm just like, like running a full blast, I feel like, it's so fun. So that was like an invigorating walk <laughs> in the rain. It's kind of chilly now. Like you can see my cheeks are rosy. I probably should have brought a hat and maybe gloves, but I'm like confused by the weather. It's very warm, but like warm is relative to being in 30 below wind chill before I got here. So this does feel warm though. So I'm in Central Park going to the croissant place to grab a coffee and breakfast and hang out with my bestie, Kay Gardner from Modern Daily Knitting. It's a beautiful day. Everybody has their dogs out for a walk this morning. It's so cute. And look at the green grass, it's like shocking. In January, it's this green, but... I know they've had some warmer weather. They had snow and stuff too, but I think it really warmed up. It's still kind of green. lovely little breakfast and coffee and just sat and talked for a long time. It was so fun. And now I'm gonna kind of walk back to my hotel area. I might stop in the Nintendo store to pick up some souvenirs for the kids because <laughs> that's their request is they love Nintendo and they love the Nintendo store because it has like extra special Nintendo things that I have to go check out for them. So I'm gonna go head that way and just walk and wander and kind of not the best weather to do that, but it's not horrible. So anyway, just checking out the park. I always love a little Central Park visit. Oh my gosh, look at this squirrel. Where'd he go? <laughs> so cute and gray and fluffy. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. back to my path with my umbrella and do some more wandering. Um, today's Friday so the Bowman Live Marketplace opens tonight or later this afternoon. I have to actually look at the schedule and then I have some little events and meetups and stuff happening throughout the weekend. I'm just kind of sticking to that schedule but then also looking at everything seeing all the vendors, meeting up with friends. So yeah, this is kind of my city wandering day, but I'm not gonna do too much because the, the weather is not super fun to be walking in, but it's not bad. So Kay sent me this direction <laughs> to try to get out on Fifth Avenue and she just said, don't make any left turns. So I'm just meandering straight and to the right.
So it's been kind of foggy and rainy since I got here. And you can see behind me, you can't even see all the buildings and you can't see some of the tops of the buildings because it's covered in like a white fog. But yeah, definitely a different view than when I was here in October. And you can see everything, it was all still like blue skies. But anyway, still not complaining about this weather. It's still relatively warm and I'm just gonna keep wandering. Anyway, it's just really pretty.
So it stopped raining. I went to the MoMA. And now I'm going back to the hotel and then to Bogating Live to the marketplace, which opens at five. I think it's like three something, so my timing is really good. I'm walking all day. Um, it's just after five, so the marketplace is open, so I'm heading down to the Marriott Marquis. So now is the knitting stuff. I've been doing everything else up till now, so it's time to go see everybody, um, see all my friends. I've seen a lot of people I know are here. I'm wearing my eyeball hat, and I'm excited to get there. So now I just have to watch 46th and turn here. So this is restaurant row. And that's how I know where to turn because I stay at a different hotel. I don't stay at the Marriott Marquis. And so I have to walk like almost 15 minutes, not even that, probably 12 minutes to get there. But it's, it's seriously so nice. I'm not minding the walking at all. It's been really fun. So just a little bit further and I'll be there. And then the marketplace is opening now. So it'll be kind of busy right now. Well, everybody's getting their registration thingies done. And so I'll grab mine and then, you know, there might be a line, but it's fine. I'm excited to get there. So just ahead is the Marriott Marquis. It's right past Hamilton. It's past all these theaters. So we're almost there. <laughs> so it's really so. Try story is uh -huh. Welsh for treasure. Okay. And 
it is just a treasure to have this in your own stash. I so love it. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Gentile di Lucania takes 
color very really nice. well. So color is uh, power. Beautiful. And even more. That's and so beautiful. We're very happy to show it here for the first time. It is really special. If there's not very many sheep. Like that's really yes. a and big the, deal. The, the quantities for the moment are very little that we have. Yeah. And uh, but we're very happy to present it here Ooh. and uh, people to to come and see it, touch it, Sorry. feel it, and we have uh, uh, a collection of solid colors which were dyed in Italy, uh, where uh, my yak dyes their yarns, mm -hmm. and then we have also my hand dyed yarns. And so the idea was to have uh, a collection of colorways to represent the five elements. Ooh. And I did this show that uses three skeins, and this is, for example, the air element. And then it's the water element, oh, the yeah. ether element, knitted and sample knitted by Shamika Struli. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have fire. Oh my gosh! Which is my favorite because of orange. Oh, I love it. Of course. And then we didn't have the time to do <laughs> the earth, but we still oh. have a little one. Yes! <laughs> That's fantastic! We like it as much as we like to resource it, and yeah, the idea started like from years ago. Yeah. And so now's the time to to share it. This is incredible. We have a beautiful show designed by Melanie Bird. Aha. Uh -huh. And also Paula Pereira I did a small collab. So yeah. there's lots of things coming. Oh my way. gosh! Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, so yeah, I'm in my hotel room with this kind of awesome view. It's pretty fun. And I don't stay at the Marriott Marquis. I think I've already said this. I stay at a hotel called 
Pod Hotel. It's a little bit more affordable and just a little bit further of a walk from the Marriott, but I don't mind getting away from the Marriott because once you're there with Vogue Knitting Live, it's kind of easy to get stuck there. And so this is like a nice breath of fresh air. I mean, city air, but a chance to walk away and kind of get away from things. And I don't know. And it's a little bit more affordable and it's still really cute and easy and nice. So I'm here. Um, today is Friday. I really felt like it was Saturday all day. It's very confusing. I got here yesterday. So Thursday, I flew in and got here about noon, got some food, wandered around. What else did I do? Not a whole lot. Now I'm already forgetting what I did. But then at like 3.30, I met up with my friend Steven. Um, he is Knitfen on Instagram and he has a YouTube channel as well. And you should go watch because he's really fun to listen to. And he has great stories and he knits beautiful things. But anyway, so I met up with him because I had an invitation to an event hosted by Knit and Note, the app, and also a company called Fjord. And these are Norwegian companies. Um, they have yarn, they have patterns. There's an, the app, I'm sorry, this light is all over the place. <laughs> but um, it was a beautiful event at the Norwegian consulate and it was kind of fancy and fabulous. And there was people there. We didn't know what to expect, but when we got there, we knew a lot of people. Um, there, my friends, I had two friends named Olga there. <laughs> and then um, I met some new friends. I met Emma from another YouTube channel that you might have seen as well. I'll probably link that below. And I don't know, it was just a really fun event, something very, very different to kind of kick off Vogue Knitting Live weekend. So that was really fun. And I was kind of honored to get to participate in that and to be there. Um, and it was in this beautiful apartment with a view, like a gorgeous view of the city. So that was last night. We stayed a long time. They had lots of little snacks and um, like I had the sparkling water. I don't drink, but they had, you know, alcoholic beverages as well. And it was just a nice little mingling and networking type of event. It was really nice and fun. And then Stephen and I walked around and chatted and um, he takes the ferry back to where he lives. And so I wanted to see what that looked like. And so we wandered around, um, went to Bryant Park and talked and chatted and kind of got to know each other better and had just a great time kind of just wandering. And then I got to see the ferry and how that works. I was really curious about that. And then I came back to the hotel and crashed. And then early this morning, sorry, that was really loud. That was like our, the air or whatever in here. Today is Friday, not Saturday. And I started off the morning bright and early and met my friend Kay from Modern Daily Knitting. Um, in Central Park, there's a croissant and coffee place that we've met before. And I met up with her and her friend there at 8.30 a.m. and it was a great way to start the day and just chatting and catching up. And then, yeah, it was really nice. We stayed quite a while and just hung out. I had nothing important that I had to do or be at, so it was really nice. Today was kind of the chill day where I got to do the city stuff um, before all the Vogue Knitting Live stuff started. So I, I went from there to like Fifth Avenue and Rockefeller area because my kids wanted me to go to the Nintendo store to look for souvenirs. They both love Nintendo stuff and like the stuffed animals and the other like extra little weird things. And so they kind of gave me some ideas of what they might want. And they both have birthdays in February. So that kind of works out. So that was kind of fun. I went and got that done right away. Cause sometimes I think about that until the end, like what am I going to get them? I have to bring them something home. So I got that finished. I'm sorry, like if you can hear the air, it just comes on and off all the time. Anyway, after that, I know I'm forgetting things on the way. Um, what did I do next? I wandered around. I had a delicious kind of semi-fancy lunch for me anyway, but I was really, really hungry and it was kind of a later lunch and I really needed like a good meal <laughs> for fueling my day. 
there was so much walking and everything. And so I was wandering the area and I, I went to Uniqlo. Um, <laughs> this is very random, I'm sorry. And yeah, then I was hungry. And then really when I, when I got over in that area, I'm like, I'm gonna go to the MoMA. I'm over here, it's raining. I kind of wanna go inside somewhere, but in, somewhere enjoyable. And I haven't been to the MoMA since like pre-pandemic. So, and then I saw they had a big Picasso exhibit. So I went to the MoMA and had a wonderful afternoon looking at everything. It was fantastic. So I really enjoyed that. That was a good decision on my part. I knew, I knew that was like the right thing to do at that time. <laughs> but, okay, so after that, I came back to the hotel. This doesn't sound, sound like very many things, but this took all day. And it was so much walking, walking and walking. So I've been walking outside in the city since 8.30 a.m. And now it's like 9.30 or 10 o'clock at night and I just got back. So, okay, I went from the MoMA back to the hotel because I just wanted to change and kind of unload some things and bring back the souvenirs. I didn't want to take all that stuff with me. And then I just took a minute and just sat and rested my feet and then put my stuff back on, went to the Marriott Marquis where voting Live is held. And then the marketplace opened at five and I got there probably by 5.30 and kind of missed the big rush in the beginning probably. And then just went up, got my little name tag, walked right in, immediately found lots of friends. I saw a lot of fun people tonight and had a blast catching up with people. I had some good quality time where I walked around with different friends for quite a while and it was really nice. It was a lot less busy than I expected because sometimes Friday night is like a, a madhouse where it just goes like a, like a mob or people are, you know, lined up to get in. And this was not that bad. It was like a slower smaller crowd still a lot of people but it wasn't like uncomfortably crowded which was nice and it gave me the opportunity to talk to a lot of people and see everyone so and then I ran to Steven again and my friend Shamika and Trey Liz who's staying with Shamika and all these other people so wonderful so it was just like, I'm so tired. <laughs> so that's what's going on. I haven't posted a single picture to Instagram really. Just, I posted a couple when I first flew in and then I haven't had time to even look through all the stuff I've taken. <laughs> I have videos to go through and so many pictures, but anyway, I'm gonna look at that a little bit and just close my eyes and go to sleep, so. Yeah, tomorrow I don't have to go super early. I can I might just take the opportunity and sleep in tomorrow a little bit and just have a nice slow start. Go grab some breakfast. Ooh, it got really dark. I'm having a great time. It's been nonstop and I love it. So good night. See you in the morning. Street again. <laughs> um, headed down to the Marriott again to see everybody, and the marketplace has been open a little bit, but I had some stuff to do this morning and I just wanted to rest a little bit, and I was really tired. So I'm wearing the Bjork sweater today. I already got a comment in the coffee shop about it, like, where did you get that? And I got to say the uh, classic line, I made it. 
myself. It's always fun. So anyway, headed to the marketplace. I'm sure it's gonna be busier today than it was yesterday, I'm guessing. Also, um, there was a lot of people worried that the Bjork sweater with the flaps wouldn't fit under a jacket. And this is like my lightweight, midweight, like packable jacket and it totally fits with ease. <laughs> Which I'm really happy about too, because I was worried like, like I don't want to be stuffed in a coat with like, you know, when you can't move your arms and stuff. So it comfortably fits under both of my jackets. I tried on the black one too. And I thought I'd wear this one today because it's a little bit easier to if I have to carry it. I think they have a coat check, but anyway. Headed there, I'll be there in 10 minutes. Just enjoying my coffee. It is so warm today, I almost don't need a coat. So now I kind of wish I'd left it behind because I don't even know if it was necessary it's like really warm and the sun is even coming out a tiny bit for like the very first time so but i'll have the coat just in case i have to walk back when it's cold tonight like i'm, I'm sure i'll probably stay there till night time maybe i'll come back one time i usually don't anyway fair sure. i will see you at the marriott market this really feels like spring break. It is, I feel like it's like 60 degrees. How could it be? I think it is. Like I'm kind of sweaty. But I am walking. Anyway, that's all seriously.
Okay, it is Sunday, the last day of Ogening Live. I'm trying to hold all my things here in my death claw grip. It is raining again, um, but this is the last day of the marketplace and then I fly out today. I have to leave the airport by one o'clock, I think. So I'm just gonna come for a bit this morning, maybe grab some food before I go to the airport and then head out. So let's go. last day. My hair is a disaster. been a whirlwind of a weekend that seriously I, I it happens every time it goes way too fast it's like non-stop fun and I love it so much and always a new adventure while I'm here so yeah headed home
Thanks so much for watching and hanging out with me in New York City. I hope you enjoyed this recap. I really do love making these recap videos and if you want to see more, please go look. I'll link it below. I have a recap from last year's Vogue Knitting Live as well. And it's fun to see the difference because every year it's a little bit different. And I noticed this year there were some changes made that were really positive ones, like um, for accessibility. They had a quiet room you could hang out in if you were kind of over the crowds and the noise. It was like a nice chill room with some water and you could like relax there. They had more space between the booths and in the aisles. So there was like a lot more breathing room where we weren't shoulder to shoulder. Um, so there was really nice changes made this year that, that I really enjoyed. And there's a little bit less fashion shows, but some really good, like the diversity panel with the DAC group. I have friends that spoke on the Diversity Advisory Council. I have several friends on that board that they they just do amazing work and I wanted to hear what they've been working on and what is important to them and the changes they're helping to make in our community. And also Knit the Rainbow is there. That is the organization that helps LGBTQ homeless youth and teens um, that really need a little extra love and warmth. And this past winter, my friend Erica and I sent some hand-knit hats their way and they collect donations. They also have, um, like you can sign up to write patterns for them and there's all different ways you can get involved to help with that as well. And so yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of everything. It's not just a bunch of vendors and booths. There's classes, there's um, different events and these organizations that are represented there. So it's just a lot of stuff. Anyway, I was trying to close this video <laughs> and end it and I ended up just talking more, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recap. Thanks for hanging out with me in New York. Um, please like and subscribe if you wanna see more. I'm uploading a new video every Saturday morning, so please check back next week. There'll be something new there. Don't know what it is yet, but there'll be a new video next Saturday. And thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. And then yeah, please watch last year's recap from Voting Live because they're all really fun and you should go check that out next. I'll put the link in the comments. So thank you for watching. Have a great day, have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.